we love that Walmart effect. I mean, that's if 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 a location's good enough for a Walmart, it's good enough for us. Part of the problem with lots of areas of Florida, particularly along the coast, is that there is not as much buildable land available where the people are. Um, and so that becomes a struggle, uh, being able to find the land at the right price. Well, if you find it, I bet, I bet Fernando would come no, there and build it. I'm sure. <laughs> so, do, you, uh, <laughs> do you utilize the Walmart effect at all and when you're looking for development? We do. We're actually buying a Walmart right now in Texas, right by South Padre Island. Uh, so if, if I think I know what you're alluding to, what Walmart likes to do is they will set up a Walmart on in one uh, town and then they'll set up a second Walmart, maybe a couple towns over. And then what they'll do if they see they have enough demand from both Walmarts is they'll shut both of those down and they'll build a super Walmart in the middle. So what we do is we'll come in and we'll buy those auxiliary Walmart stores and then convert them into self storage. And the reason we like Walmarts is that they, they actually, uh, they keep their properties pretty nice. They do a lot of the, the maintenance as it comes available. Uh, same thing with Sears buildings. We found that a lot of the Sears stores, when they were wound down before the company uh, shuttered that portion of its corporation, that they did a lot of preventative maintenance so that they could sell those properties for top dollar. So the roofs are in pretty good condition. The facades are in pretty good condition. The mechanicals, electrical and plumbing are in pretty, pretty good, good conditions. One of the stores that we try to avoid at all costs are Kmart's. Yeah. What we found is that the Kmart's are typically run to the ground. They don't do a lot of maintenance on those properties while they own them. And then, you know, let alone when they're shutting them down, they don't do any right. maintenance. And I think that's just a, a factor of the kind of the financials of that company. Uh, but yeah, we, we love that Walmart effect. I mean, that's, if, 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 if a location's good enough for a Walmart, it's good enough for us. Yeah. Cause they, they do serious, uh, study, uh, when they're deciding whether they're going to put a facility anywhere and they own the properties they're they're not, um, just leasing them up. They, they own the stuff. So they, they are wanting their investment, uh, to be a good investment over the long period. And you'll see all kinds of other businesses will pop up around a, a Walmart mm -hmm. because they've done all the demographic work for you. Yeah. You, you just locate near them. I, I go up and sell boiled peanuts by the local Walmart. I mean, it's, 